Gyro Gear Loose here. Uh, today I'll be doing a review of the WL Toys V911 versus the Blade MSR. These are both four channel, very similar helicopters uh, in the micro class. The MSR is a slightly older design. Uh, came out first, probably about three years ago. Uh, the WL Toys is really just hitting the market in the last year. Uh, it's clearly a clone of the MSR and they've learned from a lot of the mistakes, I think. We'll go into some of the differences of those features in a moment. As I make this review, uh, keep in mind that the Blade currently sells for five times the cost of the V911. Um, as we consider the features, keep that in mind. Uh, first off, on the fly bar, the V911 has a much lighter fly bar, smaller. Uh, the Blade MSR has larger paddles. The fly bar is located below the rotor instead of above. Uh, this makes the V911 much more agile because the fly bar is what makes it stable. Uh, if you're just starting out, it's not so crazy that it's impossible to fly, but it will let you do much more exciting stunts with your little helicopter than you could do with the bigger, heavier fly bar. As we examine the underside of each helicopter, you can see the bottom of the 911 has a battery bay where the battery slides in cleanly, the connectors on the far side and attached to the helicopter. Um, on the underside of the Blade MSR, you can see this dangling wire. Uh, you again stick the battery into a little bay, but then you manually connect the wire. Uh, personally, I think the V911's method is considerably more stable. It moves less and it's a lot easier to plug in than moving around that little wire. Here I have the canopy off the V911, and you can see some of the internal workings of it. Um, most notably, this is a FHSS radio. It can be bound to any of the FHSS radios out there, like the Hobby King or Eternity uh, T9X. This is a 9-channel radio, fully programmable. Uh, you can even download different firmware and make it even more expanded. Uh, this radio will take up to 16 models simultaneously. Uh, it's a very powerful radio, and it binds with the nice little V911. The Blade, on the other hand, is a DSM-2 radio. There are DSM-2 radios out there. Uh, the one that it's sold with is what I affectionately call the Batman controller. Uh, it looks like a toy controller, because it pretty much is. Uh, I am not a fan of this controller, really. Although it is comfortable in your hand, you cannot do anything at all to change how the helicopter flies. Now, examining the servos of the V911, you'll see that these are actually rotary servos. Um, they have control arms that swing instead of a worm screw that goes up and down linearly. Hopefully the camera will focus there. Um, this is a tried and true technology based on millions of servos out there. Uh, it's very strong, very resilient to crashes. It's an uh, excellent design. You can see the motors that drive the servos are actually on the front of the sensor board. Uh, in comparison, the Blade MSR uses what I just mentioned of linear servos, where there's a little motor driving a worm screw up and down a linear track. And finally, discussing the batteries that each one takes, uh, the Blade MSR takes a little battery with what is called a Pico uh, a connector. It's a very tiny two-pin connector. This is a single-cell battery, so there are only two connectors, no balancing. Whereas the V911 takes what is called a XST-PH connector. It is slightly bigger, but otherwise looks very similar to the Pico. So here you can see the difference. Uh, this is not actually the battery that goes to the 911. This goes to a, a bigger helicopter, a six-channel helicopter, but that's the connector that it takes. Thank you. This has been Gyro Gearloose doing a review of the V911. Thank you.